The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Is there a Gospel of Mary? And if there is a Gospel of Mary, why is it not in the Bible? Hi everyone, in today's video, I will be answering these questions for you. But before we get into that, I just want to first ask you to like this video and please subscribe to this channel if you're new. So let me start off by saying that yes, there is a Gospel of Mary and there are very good reasons why the gospel of Mary is not in the Bible. So the reason why I'm making this video today is because I came across a video that is doing really well on TikTok and it is about a woman exposing the church for not having the gospel of Mary in the Bible. Let's take a look. I think the biggest lie in the Bible is that Mary Magdalene was a harlot. And ever since I heard the story as a little girl, Nothing ever sat right with me about it. It just didn't feel right. And then they don't tell us that there's a gospel of Mary Magdalene. Oh no, don't read that, says the Catholic Church. But guess what? We are going to read it. Discovered in fragments in Egypt in 1945 was the most controversial text of early Christianity. The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. This translations of Mary's teaching from Greek and Coptic offers a unique new perspective. It's no secret that the Catholic religion wanted to take away the divine feminine power. It's basically clear and proven fact now. Mary Magdalene was a powerful and holy woman. Now the truth about Mary Magdalene is that she was the innermost disciple and beloved wife of Jesus and a Christed woman who is co-equal with Jesus in the Christ revelation. Finally, the veil on Mary Magdalene has been lifted and we can all know the truth. Let's disclose a long suppressed story of Mary's vital role in the life of Jesus and in the formative period after his crucifixion. The book of Mary Magdalene presents as authentically as possible the real Mary Magdalene. This book reveals that she was a gifted, visionary teacher and the best qualified disciple also to lead the Jesus movement after his death. Also known as Miriam Magdala, Mary Magdalene was considered by the Apostle John to be the founder of Christianity, yet we never heard of her ever again. They erased her. They suppressed her. She was, in fact, the first witness to the resurrection, right? Mary's gospel reveals a radical love that sits at the heart of the Christian story. Her gospel says that we are not sinful. We are not to feel ashamed or unworthy for being human. In fact, her teachings say that our purpose is to be fully human, to be a true human being, that is. Yes, we are a messy, limited ego, but we are also a limitless soul. So despite its short length, these few pages offer an interesting perspective in view into the form of Christianity. The true teachings, her teachings, were forgotten for a long time, and this short account presents a different interpretation of Jesus' teachings. And it's put in a way to gain internal spiritual knowledge. You do not need a priest to connect with Jesus or to connect with God. That was the establishment and their agenda. You needed them to connect to God. But that is far from the truth. Her gospel rejects the idea that Jesus' suffering and death were a way to eternal life. This is not what she says. And the Bible will tell you that Mary Magdalene was a harlot. But this is far from the truth. That was a totally made up story. And everybody's been following it for centuries, right? It tries to suppress women because they did not want women being leaders. Mary Magdalene criticizes corrupt authority. And she imagines a world where we all strive for spiritual excellence. And this challenged the views of the first Christians. And it makes us reconsider the church power. And all of this was written in the name of a woman. 
So firstly, when we take a look at our video, I just feel that it's very important for us to acknowledge the fact that we cannot take what this woman is saying at her word because there are a few places in this video where she just blatantly lied. For example, she said that the Bible says that Mary was a prostitute. Nowhere in the Bible do we find the words Mary was a prostitute. Only when we look at the Bible do we see that the Bible says that Mary Magdalene was demon possessed before she met Jesus. She was not a prostitute. So now that leaves us to answer the question, why is the gospel of Mary Magdalene not in the Bible? So when we take a look at the gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, which actually are in the Bible, we see that they were all written by Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. So these were all written within the first century. But then when we take a look at the Gospel of Mary, and you might think, but Mary was there during all of this as well. And you're right, Mary was there. But the author of the Gospel of Mary was not there. Because when we take a look at the Gospel of Mary, we see how the Gospel of Mary was only written in the late second century, or some scholars even suggest that it could have been written as late as the third century after Christ. So there is no way that Mary Magdalene wrote the gospel of Mary. So that's firstly why we see that the gospel of Mary is not in the Bible simply because it wasn't written by Mary. Instead it was probably written by an author who wanted to change the theology of the Christian community that he or she was in and by doing that he or she wrote something and accredited it to Mary Magdalene in order to give it more credibility. So that's most likely why it was written. When we also look at the Gospel of Mary, we see how it is theologically inaccurate. There are many theological things in the Gospel of Mary that does not hold up and match with the rest of the New Testament. For example, in the Gospel of Mary, we see how the Gospel of Mary explains that we can be saved by simply following the teachings of Jesus and not by believing in his death and resurrection. So there are many theological mistakes in the Gospel of Mary, which is also a reason why it's not in the Bible. And the woman in this video says sexism is also a reason why it's not in the Bible. And I would definitely disagree with her on that. For example, when we take a look at the Gospel of Thomas, we see that the Gospel of Thomas is also not in the Bible. And that is because the Gospel of Thomas was not written by Thomas, just like the Gospel of Mary was not written by Mary. So again, we see how there are very good reasons why the gospel of Mary was not in the Bible without the cause of this being sexism. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to this channel and turning on the post notifications so that you don't miss a single upload. May God bless you.